The North Carolina beaches are getting most of the post hurricane Irene attention, but storm damaged eastern North Carolina tobacco fields are an economic disaster still to come. Throughout the region, many of these fields are still standing, even if leaning, but that doesn't tell the story. <sighs> Alton Robertson's a Lenore County tobacco farmer and he says he will lose most of his 2011 tobacco harvest. This is one of the worst I've ever seen, storm-wise. We've had more storms with heavy, higher winds and that kind of thing, but just the way timing is everything. And this timing situation is horrible. At this time of year, these tobacco fields are supposed to be a bright green in color, but post Irene, it's browns and yellows that dominate the landscape. What you see out here right now is a lot of scald, bruising from the wind, and then scald from the heat coming out in the daytime when the sun finally gets out. When Irene rolled through, her winds damaged the plants and her rainfall flooded the tobacco fields, drowning the plants' roots. There was nothing farmers could do but hope Irene stayed further east. I think most growers were trying to, to be optimistic about it and hopefully that we were gonna, it was just gonna brush us, we were gonna miss us. And I think until the last 24 hours, I think it really set in that Guys, we're in for we're in for a whipping. Your goal is, is to raise a crop. Your pride in growing that crop is on the line. <clears throat> and when the cards are dealt like this, you go from feeling like this to down like this. A normal tobacco harvest season requires several harvests spread out over a couple of months. But Irene's rain and wind, coupled with this week's warm, sunny, and beautiful days, accelerated this week's long process into a few days. The tobacco plant doesn't go ripe all at the same time. The leaves no. ripen at different stages, right. but a heavy rain changes that dynamic. Normally, out. normally tobacco ripens from the bottom up, and that's the way the farmers uh, harvest it. They harvest it by stalk position as it matures and gets uh, taller. But what has happened here is these leaves have been damaged from the storm. They've been bruised, torn, whipped around. And as you can see, this field now is turning yellow. A bright yellow and so the entire plant the, is that's yellow. right the the ripening process has been accelerated here and this field is probably going to uh, mature or ripen uh, to the uh, so fast that the uh, uh, growers won't be able this to get week it out will the it be completely ripe by the end of this week by the end of this week depending on the temperatures uh, this field was probably not going to be salvageable the tobacco leaves that were blown from the plants are lost, but it's the rapid maturity of the entire tobacco field that will swamp out in Robertson's tobacco barns. He simply cannot harvest it fast enough, and it's physically impossible for him to cure so much tobacco at one time. He has 17 tobacco curing barns. That's enough in a regular harvest season. He'll need about 100 barns immediately. If it keeps deteriorating this rapidly, <clears throat> yellowing, coming off that hard green look we had before the storm. Uh, I'll have somewhere close to 80, 70 to 80 more barns of tobacco to put in. Many farmers tobacco harvest this week will be mostly a salvage operation. They have growing contracts with the tobacco companies, but the companies want to buy high quality leaves. And if the farmers don't have good quality tobacco, the, the companies are, don't pay high price for it. And see, the, the growers uh, have contracts with the company and they assess a grade to it. And, uh, and this tobacco has been bruised and damaged like this and injured, then naturally the quality grades on it is going to go down. There's a chance that some or all of the salvaged tobacco will be rejected by the buyer. And crop insurance only covers a portion of Alton Robertson's investment this season. Alton never did mention any hope of receiving federal aid. My brother and I, we've uh, babied it and carried it through up to now. And what can you do? You just, I've done the best I can do.